okay if you're gonna have to do this. It's been too long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done any gameplay because I'm a university student again, so... Um, but today we're going to check out my time at Porsche, which is a super cute game. It's currently in alpha and it's um, on Kickstarter at the moment. It's just hit 50% of its goal and I, I really want it to do well because it looks it looks really good. It's got like a... Um... Okay, so... <laughs> We kick off in what will be a beautiful character creation screen, um, but at the moment we're Marco, and Marco is all we can be. We can change his hair colour, um, even though it's his skin colour. Um, so I think if anything we just want to make him a bit more ginger. But coming up in Porsche, you see this is very... There's no voice, and also you can't really read the subtitles very well. But <laughs> I think for being about 40% done, I think it looks great. I think it already plays super super well. Excuse me, I have an itch behind my headphone. There we go. Professionalism. So it's kind of like a harvest moon, a little bit of animal crossing in there, a little bit of Minecraft almost. My time at Porsche. Aww, and it's just so pretty and the music is nice and you can talk to your neighbours. It's very harvest moon in that way. It's sort of like um, you've got your homestead and then you've got uh, relationships with the other villagers depending on what you do. Hello, Presley, how do you do? I didn't get to know my pa too well. Oh, he was a good friend, just not a good dad. So here we go, and we're off, and we can sprint, but it uses up our stamina, and stamina points are what we use to do everything, basically. So picking up items, crafting things, it all takes up some of those stamina points. And you sleep, and it becomes the next morning, like a harvest moon, or a stardew valley, or something like that. It looks absolutely delightful. Letter from my father. Marco, when you read this letter, I'm already on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not able to be the father that you want. This was all so sudden I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. What an ass! Blah blah blah. He's my workshop. Our father is an arsehole, but he's left us this nice workshop on Porsche. So we need a builder license to be able to run our workshop, I guess, like a shop. So we need to, uh... Ding dong dong dong! Day two! So it goes, it has the days, months and years. Yeah, it's not... I mean, it's not great, is it? Hello? We're a weekly publication. Okay! It's, uh... It's kind of like Slime Rancher as well. Oh, but it's got... Like a, um, yes, yeah, so you can gather items like this on the floor. Um, but it's got like a monster fighting. That's the kind of RPG side of it. So you can go out into the world and fight monsters as well, which I think is really cool. Basically, everything I personally want in a game, like for example, a pink cat called Pinky, they've put in. It's like, it's like it was made for me. My, my relationship is plus one with Pinky. Meow. That is a cute cat. But isn't it beautiful? Look at this! Look at that windmill! It just makes me want to run around and explore. Like, what's that? Can I go up there? Is it dangerous? Probably dangerous. And then this is the town. There's that guy. That's probably our dad knowing these sort of games. And there's just people wandering around and sights. It feels like a real lively little world, doesn't it? Look, that guy's like practicing fighting over there, and now he's bored and mortal. Oh, that. I, excuse me, Lee. Sonia. Hi Sonia. Oh, she's cute. Hi. Bama's Dream Chaser was a great read. Hopefully this time it can be published in a magazine. Oh my god, she's cute. See, my instinct in these kind of games is to immediately find, uh, hi Nora. Nora's cute, but she's a sister of the church, so she's probably not interested in dating. People want the guidance of the church when it comes to technologies from the corrupted world. After all these technologies are what led to the destruction of the human race. Yeah, we're in a post-apocalyptic world, incidentally. I know it doesn't look like it, but there was a great disaster that wiped out lots of people and things, and so we've effectively started from scratch in this new world. Have you ever heard the story of the dancing robot? This happened several years ago in Ithia. A robot was found in the ruins brought into town. The robot only had one leg, so it was bouncing with four arms. That's why it was called the dancing robot. Anyway, then it shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. Sad story. Oh, this is a funny thing. 
This is uh, something that hasn't been quite. So, uh, <laughs> Marco is clearly like the lord and saviour of this world. I think the church folks should be looking at me right now to see uh, what's happening here. So water is like a solid surface at the moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy has cross eyes. Or girl, that person has cross eyes. I'm settling in well. This is the Commerce Guild. Yeah, so the free cities are like all the rebuilt cities and Portia is one of them. And we need wooden stone to make tools. Make tools. Yeah! So here's our work table. And this is where the game proper starts. So we craft ourselves a little axe because we've got all the tools. Uh, I mean items. And then the other thing we need is a pickaxe but we need a little bit more wood. One thing that I would I would really like to see later is um, like a tracking method for the crafting that like you get in some other sort of crafting games just so you can keep an eye on what you actually need that's always that's always pretty nice and if you look at the map the map in the mini map in the corner is really helpful but look at this map isn't this amazing I really like the UI I love this hub um, so we've got our inventory and here we are and so I presume you can unlock oh okay so you can pay goals is goals gold? It must be. That's got to be the coinage of the game. Um, so you can pay to unlock more slots, and then I can wear things. And here's my skills. So I've got level 3 gatherer. And we haven't got a builder's license yet. This is our handbook, written by our dad. Our dad. Um, and then you've got your quests here. Here's your social, so it says like, this is a lot like... Harvest Moon's Dardew Valley, the um... Oh look, I've got I've even got Pinky in here! So it shows all the villagers and what your relationship status is with them. And then there's this map, which you can even zoom in on. And it shows, like, there's the food store. Best Brother Total Tools clothing store. And it's got, like, all this stuff. This Sophie's Ranch, I don't know who that is. And this is my workshop, I think. Oh, and you can set yourself a little waypoint and it'll appear... Uh... On the mini-map, see that blue? I'm pointing at my screen so you can see that. Um, yeah, so you can set yourself waypoints and things, which is pretty amazing! So, yeah, I'm just re I'm really impressed with how this looks so far. Obviously, there's a lot of polish to go. A lot of polish and things like, you know, dialogue to write and stuff like that, but um, in terms of gameplay, it already plays really well. Thanks, buddy. We need to build a stone furnace. Dun 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 dun. It's just like Minecraft. You make yourself a pick, you make yourself an axe, and you make a little furnace. Hello. <laughs> Phyllis. Whoa. Obviously all the records of what actual nursing have been lost. And all that's <laughs> left is like anime pictures of ner like nurses from manga. And so she thinks that that's how this is. <laughs> she looks good. She looks nice. Phyllis. So, this is our assembly station. This is a lot like Slime Rancher. Um, yeah, so what you do is you pick the thing that you want to make. You pop it in there and then you need the parts. Um, so I need ten wood to make... Oh, I like this as well. You can see in your hand whatever... Uh, whatever you're holding in your inventory. Um, so we need 10 wood and a stone stool. So we can make the stone stool at our little thing. Oh look, you can buy a little expansion here for our uh, workshop. That's nice. Whoa, what's that? Look at the caterpillar's face. Wait, can I hold it? Is it in my hand? Oh yeah, look. Look at his face. That's what that caterpillar is doing. That's amazing. Yeah, so these guys, a little maggoty thing floating on an umbrella, that's a monster. And I imagine those alpacas are as well. So, we probably want to avoid those. Hey! Goost. Gust? Goost. Wow, nice hair. That Sunday fireside makes me sleepy. Oh yeah, see? Okay, I will show you this. I, I won't be able to do it well. Um, so you can fight with these people. Like, your neighbours. You can just sort of, uh... Oh, 
Yeah, okay, look, we can do a cheeky little roll there. Ow! Oh, he's... Ugh! He's creaming us. So yeah, you can, uh... You can fight your neighbours. But I presume if you win, you get money. Because I, I, I lose money every time I lose, which is every time. Oh my gosh! I've levelled up from kicking this tree. Wild cocoon. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. Emily, Emily, Emily. Hey, em e Emily, Emily. I'm not trying to push you, I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, she's cute. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go, that's that bit done. And then in parts, we can make a stone stool. And then we just have to to our inventory. Stick that in the old uh, hot bar. Down it goes. And ta-da! We've done it. We've got a stone furnace. Let's put it up here. So you can like rotate it around. Put it down wherever you want. Oh, I can go in here. The round table. Ooh, look at this. Hi, Django. Restaurant owner. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, relationship plus ten. What a cool guy. His face is massive. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. If you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Hardwood. Because he's hard. Fair enough. Hey, me again. So, uh, I actually wrapped this up a little while ago. Um, a couple of days ago, hence looking different, probably in a different place. It's probably gone all weird and freaky. Um, but I kept playing on my own and I realised that there's a load of cool stuff that's like really important and would be good to show uh, that I just didn't get to before when I showed like the first 10 minutes or so of the game. So uh, I've jumped ahead and now we're in the future. I don't think I was chopping down trees or hitting rocks or anything before. So you can see I've fixed all the holes in my floor in my little workshop. So now, my uh, SP bar goes back up to full uh, after I go to sleep, so that's good. So rocks like this, I can hit with my pickaxe, and there you see I got some stone and some copper ore. I don't have enough space in my inventory, so I've picked up so much stuff. I need to make um, some storage boxes. There we go. Let's pop that there. And now we can put some stuff uh, into here. Now that I've got this amazing wooden practice sword, I can, oh, they're so pretty. I can take on the colourful llamas, uh, amongst other things. I don't think they gang up on you if you go against like too many of them. See, these guys are level two, so I'm just gonna. And there we go. It changes to, changes to epic fighting music, and that's where I'm getting my meat and worn fur from. So I was doing this for ages before, and it leveled me up loads. That's why I'm level five now. So I've been fighting, I've been fighting llamas and things. So I can collect all these copper bars. And I can, uh, I should probably refill this with wood. Craft some more, get some more copper on the go. So, I can just sell three of those. Get myself 51 gold and bang. I've got, oh it is a slight, slightly intimidating because it tends to take the one from your hot bar, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm going the wrong way. Now, I have enough gold, goals, to uh, get into dat mine and do dat mining. So, when you have enough goals, you just pay, you hop in, and you get this radar and backpack. Now, I've been using the radar in here and I just, I think there's just nothing in here. Oh no, look there. You can see where it is. Oh well, look at that. So I guess we pinpoint the nearest one. So I guess we pinpoint this. And then, oops! <laughs> Swap to our pickaxe and start hammering down. And you can see, it took me ages to find anything to start with. Um, because, uh... oh we got it, we got it, it's a power stone. Cool. Um, yeah, because it's just a slightly different colour, so you can see, once you're used to it, so there's copper here. So there'll be copper and there'll be tin a bit further in. The tin's slightly harder to find, but it is in here. 
and you can grab sand as well, which I assume you use for making glass. Oh look, we've accidentally broken through to a bigger cave. So this is really cool, I think. So presumably, whoopsie, um, in other... God, it goes really deep. Um, so let's get this one next. 16 meters down. Or 16 meters away. It's only five meters down. Uh, so I presume, yeah, in the other abandoned ruins you get monsters and things. I love the look of the goggles. Look at me, I'm so cool. Oh look, I was accidentally digging the right way. Amazing. Eh. Eh. And thanks to the jetpack, you can dig yourself into as big a hole you like. And you can still get out. And then when you're done, you just press your map. Hit E. And we go back to the ruin entrance. And out we go. Back to civilization via this vehicle thing. Yeah, so I just wanted to also show you um, the mining, the ruin, you can go in at the start, and uh, the fighting, because the fighting is quite a big part of it, and I just didn't show any, because I built a sword later, because I'm an idiot. But yeah, so that is my time at Porsche. Um, it's in alpha, you can get the demo, the, de the demo? You can get the demo on Steam for free, and try it out, and there's like six to eight hours of gameplay, so you should try it, because it's awesome, and then back it on Kickstarter if you want it to get bigger and better and help the dev team out because I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool. It's got all the features in a game that I really want. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I will see you next time.